Hey, good morning guys. Uh, Monday, May 18th, 2020. Coronavirus in full effect. And we are going to a walk-in cooler call. Walk-in cooler's down at about 40 something degrees. So we're gonna go check it out, see what we find, and uh, see if I can take you along for the ride. Uh, before we start this video guys, I just want to say thank you to everybody that follows the channel uh, Everybody that hits like if you guys have not yet, please like and subscribe As serious note if you guys are not subscribed yet, please subscribe and uh, we'll see you when we get there 2017 They have been put to use These hoses I actually got them in 2016 the yellow jackets I just got these uh, on Friday brand new uh, date code 2019 uh, right now this is May 2020 and these hoses I just got them these are the NRP hoses I like the ball valves it gives you a lot of um, a lot of versatility on how you can use your hoses I kind of wish NRP would make them like yellow jacket does where you can remove the eight inch ball valve here but anyways all right guys this is our walk-in says we're at about 55 ish their little cooper says 52 my uei is dropping still i just placed it up there so let's start with the normal um fans running um coil is clear no ice buildup I'm not sure if it's clean or not but uh, we do have the fan running uh, fan is running the right way we do have good airflow my refrigeration just kicked on I have not messed with this yep there it is about 50 about 52 so this is accurate I'm sorry right there so this controller is accurate and put it back to about 36 or so right there a little combination uh, cooler freezer I believe in that order I'm not sure yet I just opened it uh, this one here's we have a flashing side glass flashing pretty bad that other one's solid. Yep, she's flashing pretty bad. So you guys know what that means. Add gas, do a leak check, uh, see what we can find. I'm pretty sure that's the cooler. We're gonna have to go get some 404A and uh, go get 404A leak detector, soap bubbles, but uh, for now, let's get it up and running. Looking at my gauges and I noticed that somebody's put some teflon on this cap so it wouldn't surprise me if that ca uh, cap is leaking oh, it timed it too jeez and it's not leaking that bad okay, this is what we're looking at for pressure about 165 on the head pressure and about 15 psi which we already know that's too low because we're dropping down here into the negatives. We should really be at about 20, 25 degrees, so about 60 PSI, 50 to 60. The pan, green pan. <laughs> Hi guys, so we're back. We got some 22. It is not 404A. Somebody marked it right here. You can see that green, but it's faded. The reason I almost uh, confused it was because I said, ah, that's 404, this is 404, but you got to take a look. Mineral oil. So I did a little bit of digging and it's definitely R22. It's not 404A, so I'm going to go ahead and add some charge. We got the system off. Pressures are equalized. Uh, we're going to go ahead and purge our hoses the way uh, OC Refrigeration recommended. Uh, he called me out the other day and... Uh, I appreciate it. I learned from him. So we're going to go ahead and purge our 
our blue hose we're gonna purge it straight through out to the yellow and we're gonna purge right here we got this hand tie uh, loose we're gonna open this up a bit there we go so this one's already purged now we're gonna purge this side uh, the same way just because we already have this open so we're gonna go ahead and open this up right here now we're gonna purge this way that's it so now we are completely purged on our manifold and our hoses my mistake was that I was just purging from the system out to here and we were leaving air inside this cavity right here and inside this cavity right here so uh, anyways we're gonna go ahead and add some gas R22 does not need to be charged as a liquid but I always do so don't judge me we're gonna start it up and we're gonna go ahead and start adding a little bit at a time because this right here is going to dump straight into the compressor body and you don't want to slug that compressor possibly cause some damage looking at about 102 degrees condensing temp side glass is not clear yet oh so it's about 97 degree incoming air so we'll probably leave it at about 117 degrees which is about 230 240 psi on the head pressure i go off a of saturation guys so it's about uh 113 110 uh suction saturations at about 25 degrees i like that um i just conducted a pump down test it is a pump it is a a safe pump down um my sight glass is not a hundred percent clear you'll still see some bubbles in it but that that walk-in box is warm so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna i'm gonna stop right now what i'm doing i'm gonna go downstairs and uh we're gonna check the uh, temperature in the cooler and we'll see how that cooler is doing uh once the temperature reaches down to like in the low 40s or high 30s then we can check that uh side glass because that txv old all right guys we're back in the box uh we're dropping temp 54 degrees y'all think that looks like oil See what the stratus can do in here no dice yet oh there we go somewhere up here Pull it back a little bit. Sometimes you just gotta let them reset. Let's go ahead and check on this uh, super sensitive mode. There we go. So this coil's leaking. Either way, we're gonna have to recommend a brand new coil for them. Little giant. We're gonna hit the information off this coil and uh, get a replacement for it. We're gonna go back upstairs, verify our sight glass, and button everything up. Should be good. Chance. Looks like we're running about uh, 118 or so condensing. It is about 96, 97 degrees out today. That's good to go. Uh, saturated temp is a little bit on the low side I would think I'd like to see that at about 20 uh, 20 to 25 degrees saturated but these are analog gauges what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a superheat reading downstairs we're to go on refrigerant guys we're gonna go ahead and submit a quote to change out the evaporator I'm pretty sure they're gonna want to change out the condenser as well I don't know how that's gonna work this being a little twin system freezer cooler 
So I'll have to get with my supervisor on that, but uh, that's it, guys. Let's go ahead and button it up. And um, I don't see a suction port. Maybe right here. Maybe. Let me see if I could expose it. All right, guys, there's absolutely nowhere to connect the suck. Uh, my suction pro so we're gonna call it good man this thing's gonna get changed out anyways there's no point in him dumping so much time and effort into it so thank you guys for watching man we'll see you guys on the next one